The flag folding ceremony represents the principles on which our country was originally founded. The portion of the flag denoting honor is the can of blue, containing the stars representing the states of our veterans and uniformed service. During the ceremony of retreat in the armed forces of the United States, the flag is lowered, folded in a triangle fold, and kept under watch throughout the night as a tribute to our nation's honored dead. The next morning, it is brought out at a ceremony of reveille, run aloft as a symbol of our belief in the renewal of freedom. The first fold of our flag symbolizes the beginning of life. The second fold stands for Abraham Lincoln's words that this nation, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom, and that the government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from this earth. The third fold is made in reverence of the veterans who gave a portion of life for the defense of our country to attain peace through the world. The fourth fold represents our weaker nature. For as American citizens trusting in God, it is to him and we turn in times of peace as well as in times of war for divine guidance. The fifth fold is a tribute to our country. For in the words of Stephen Decatur, our country in dealing with other countries May she always be right, but it is still our country, right and wrong. The sixth fold is for where our hearts lie. It is where we hear that the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The seventh fold is a salute to our armed forces. For it is through the armed forces that we protect our country and our flag against all our enemies, whether they are found within or without the boundaries of our republic. The eighth fold is a tribute to the one who entered in the valley of the shadow of death, that we might see the light of day and to honor our mothers for whom it flies on Mother's Day. The ninth fold is a tribute to womanhood, for it has been through their faith love, loyalty, and devotion that the character of the men and women who have made this country great have been molded. The tenth fold is a tribute to Father, for him too has given his sons and daughters for the defense of our country since they were first born. The eleventh fold represents the great seal of the United States, signifying the commitment to our Constitution. The twelfth fold represents an emblem of eternity. When the flag is completely folded, the stars are uppermost, reminding us of our national motto, In God We Trust. After, 
After the flag is completely folded and tucked in, it reminds, it takes on the appearance of a cocked hat, ever reminding us of the soldiers who served under General George Washington and the sailors and marines who served under Captain John L. Jones, who were followed by their comrades and shipmates in the armed forces of the United States for reserving for us the rights, privileges, and freedoms we enjoy today. All right. 